What? Brosi. You're here? I'm here. This one you came straight to the backyard. Yes, I, I actually met um Ntasuevi on her way out and she told me you were sitting. Okay. Hmm. You're welcome. Uh -huh. And how is your mother? She's sleeping. She's alright. I see. Hey. What? Hmm? What is the problem? I don't understand. What problem? You see, it's been actually five days, in fact, more than five days, that I saw your father, you, with your traveling bag, walk across my shop to this house. Since then, you have not even come out of this house, how much more talking about returning to the palace. So I reasoned within myself that there must be a problem, a very serious problem. Now, I want you to trust me and tell me what this problem is because I am ready to help you no matter what it is. <sighs> Rossi, thank you very much. Thanks for your concern. I, I really appreciate it. You see, if I tell you there is no problem, I'll be lying. You know? There's a problem. And the problem is that I have been expelled from the palace. What? What happened? Hmm? I just had a slight misunderstanding with the prince's fiance, the princess of Ogosi. And they expelled you just like that? Just like that, too. Anyway, the people that speak English, they say what goes around comes around. Don't feel bad about it. Don't feel bad about it. You will not understand. Anyway, um, let me get back to my shop. I didn't even lock my shop. I was so worried about you. I left my shop unlocked. Um, okay, thank you very much. Um, but on second thoughts, is it because of this palace thing that you're sitting down here? You're not coming out. You're hiding yourself inside the house. You think the palace is the end of the whole world? What? <laughs> Make out time when you're less busy. And come to my shop. We will stay together. We will play together. We will play Waterloo together, isn't it? Eh? You hear? Thank you very much, Bahosi. Thank you. I will. I'll do what you've asked me to do. You have promised to. You will do so. Hmm? I will. Okay. So, uh, let me go before these children finish me. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. okay. Take care. Oh. Uh, you are not known to be a night crawler. And I know what, uh, what must have brought you at this time of the night must be very serious. Yes. I'm not known for being a, a night crawler. What brought me is very serious. There is something I want you to guide me uh, through. Well, I'm listening. The pattern of our succession to our, the throne of our kingdom is established and known by all. But I'm thinking ahead. I compare our kingdom with other kingdoms. I have come to you, as you know. Is there any situation that can warrant, uh, uh, you see, uh, a different succession in this kingdom? Is there any situation that can warrant that? Um, I, I don't just understand you. Uh, for that question, I don't think I have an answer to. You see, you see, you see why I'm confused. Even the know who cannot give the answer to the question. You see? Where it is proved that a man, though naturally, is not to be made a king, but walked into government hearts to convince the government and even ready to attract the governments into the land for development purposes. No, is there any reason why we are not going to make such a man the king? Obviously. You see, that man can never be king. 
and let me make it known to you that when your brother, if he dies, the son will take over the kingship from him and not that man you are talking about. No, no, it seems you did not understand me properly. The said man, the said man has the capacity to lure governments into our land and develop everywhere. Look, Chief, that man, you see, we have a tradition. The custom is there that must be followed. And let me tell you, if that man brings the government of El Dorado, look, we value our tradition than weight of nations. So if that is what brought you here this night, just go home and sleep. There's no cause for alarm. He can never be king. Yes. Go home. Okay. No. No cause for alarm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Ella baby, Ella baby, Ella of this very millennium. Baby, you're looking sweet. You're looking sweet. Please, I'm not in the mood. What kind of mood will you be? Will you be in now? I mean, won't you catch yourself lucky? Won't you catch yourself lucky to have woken up from the same bed of the coming prince? Come on, come on, Ella. Please, I don't have time for all this. Just give me my money. Let me leave. You are just talking money, 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 money. See, the privilege of pulling chachinegeme, of pulling the ways of the common prince is more than any amount of money. Don't you know? It's more than any amount of money. You are calling yourself a prince. You are not a prince. <laughs> well, well, well. That's only correct as we are speaking now. But in the next few days, this guy that just finished you last night is going to be the prince. And if care is not the king, it's going to be the king. So go on, we can lock you. You are very lucky. And make sure you play your, you play your league very well with me so that you can always have a place. Please, please, time is not on my side. Can I just have that money? Please. Wow. This girl, Ina Elana, what for you? You're just talking money, money, money as if your life depends on it. Did you, did you enjoy the uh, um, work that we did last time? The no, topic was, was deep. Anyway, let me be a silver me back also. We'll give you the money. Mm. I have money. Money is not my problem. My problem is that if I give you the money, you must work for the money like you just worked for it last night. This is money, man. Ella, this is money. Let me know if you can't. I don't need to Let me give it to you, but before I give it to you, let me warn you. I want to warn you. Make sure no other guy. No other guy touches you. Did you hear me? Because you see, what I gave you hmm, is meant to last for the next 20 years. Yes, what I pop it that you put here, eh, the duration and the expiring date is supposed to be for 20 years. See, what I gave you is the mixture of, 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 of temperature and, and money. Temperature from different countries and, and many, many other things. I'll give you the money. But listen, when they call you, yes, answer them, yes. And tell them that, look, I am okay for now. Hear me? Collect your money. <laughs> Ella, Ella, hey, 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 hey. What's the problem? And have you started making any moves yet? I want you to kill this agenda. It is not going to work. Says who? You see, Ogoman, why are you always thinking the impossible? Benson, this is not issue of possible, impossible, or whatever. I am talking of the matter on the ground. I went to see the Ono yesterday, and he told me that the tradition must be followed. Then you go back to the Ono and tell him that he's talking around nonsense. Yes! I met with the youth leader yesterday and I discussed with him and he saw every reason for this change and this move. Yes! 
Everybody right now is sick and tired of your brother's work as government. Now, who is the Onuru if the youths decide for a change? Who is he? You discuss with the youths? Yes! And they are supporting the move? Democracy is the order of the day. How can one, one man want to rule forever? Why? Benson, you are persuading me to do this. You are persuading me to do this. I wouldn't want to fail. You cannot fail! It's not possible for you to fail! You see, failure is not in our lineage. Okay? You take care of the elders. I will take care of the youth. And nothing, absolutely nothing is impossible with God. Oh, be we me. Oh, we see. Yes. 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 Because it's a one month trip. Come on, don't just be bitching me, okay? I, I care, that's what I'm asking. I'm worried about you. Moreover, your face doesn't even look lightened. Is there anything the matter? Yes, there is something the matter. But I already told you about it. Didn't I tell you I had to go because of my interviews? Um, okay. Fine, then, you know, maybe you can use them. If you ask me, I will say, let's just put in a hold until I come back. Because the outcome of my interview will determine when we do the wedding, how we do it, when we do it. That doesn't really matter. We could just fix the date so we could work with it, you know? You know sometime in October, uh, August, September. You know, sometime when the wind is less. Which would you rather prefer? Well, since you asked, I'd say August. August? Yeah. Perfect. Really? Okay, so what are you going to wear on Saturday? Saturday? Yes. What happens on Saturday? You are kidding me, yeah? You don't remember what Saturday is? You don't remember what's gonna happen on Saturday? What? Well, Saturday is a day when your family and my family meet in my palace. Oh. I forgot. Just forgot. You forgot. Papa, have you seen the reason why I said you should do less of tradition and embrace the trend of civilization? Have you seen it? I told you to move fast and grab the throne, but you refused. Now, the throne is at the verge of becoming vacant. It took you to know Now, I want to, want to, want to, want to. Where are you coming from? Did you go to Guinea to learn how to talk in parables? Papa, I am not speaking in parables. I am only telling you what is happening under your nose. The rumor everywhere right now is that your brother, the king, is sick. What? Yes! You don't have to be surprised. Why are you surprised? He's sick. And from what I gathered outside, they said this sickness is going to lead to death. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to see this as an opportunity. Seize this opportunity, grab it as an advantage, okay? Move into the elders, convince them, let them see every reason why they must support us. We must have the throne. When we have the throne, I, Benson, I have enough contact to bring international bodies like um, United Nations. When United Nations comes to this kingdom. Well, you are welcome, Mazio Bika and son. Um... Hey, look. Uh, it's not coming. We have heard your reasons for the visit. Our people say, our people say that if this car did not fear to find itself on the forehead of a handsome man, that if a handsome man will not fear to 
carried the scar on his forehead to the marketplace. Um, one day, one day, ma. Okay, child can go. Sit down. Allow him to talk. He has not talked. He has not said anything. From my mom. Ma, so big. Son. They have come to ask for your hand in marriage. <laughs> hey, look, I am what you think. Hey, look, I come. What is it? Is it? I get when I get, you have to pray now. This is a very oh. fine time. <laughs> <laughs> the, the way to cross is not very fine. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um Almighty God, we call on you to escort us. To grant us traveling mercy to Okosi. As my son is going to get married, we ask you, Father, to bless the marriage with good health. He said, with the fruit of the womb. He said, with wealth. He said, and wisdom. He said, we go and come back in good health. He said, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs> My daughter is not going anywhere. This is her father's compound. She's going nowhere. Aboma, you can go with her if you want to. But on whether she must leave this house tonight is not negotiable. Papa has started this on now. Mama, she, she your sing. She your sing, okay. Hey. Mm. Papa, what is this one now? Leave Mama's things out of this now. What does Mama done to you? Fine, I will go. But just allow Mama's things inside the house. What the man? You're going nowhere. You're going nowhere. What the man? You can go with her. You better go with her, because she's going somewhere. Look at this animal. You had the guts to stand before a titled man and his son to refuse. Imbecile son! I don't care even if he's crippled, you don't deserve better. Eh? The most important thing is that this boy said that he loves you much. To fear Kwagi? Baba, to fear Kwa? Me? Papa, look, I know I deserve better. I know what I deserve. Now, even if I don't deserve the best, I certainly will not take the worst. Just is there. What the man? Papa, leave Just her now. standing there leave talking. Her, Papa, can't you see his Wait for me. Yes. Untas, come and take my master's inside. Oh, hey, Chibi, hey, Chibi, Why do you kill? Papa, 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 Papa,
My dad just chased me out of the house. Why? What did you do? You know, the last time you asked me what was the problem, I, I wasn't bold enough to tell you. But, Rosie, I, I am pregnant. Eh? <laughs> Look, Rosie, I, I, I don't know, but I need your help. Remember, you, you told me the last time that whenever I need help from you, whatever it is, that you were going to help me. Hey, but... How do you want me to help you now in this one? Rosie, please. Look, I don't have any other place to go to. I mean, you're, you're like the only one I have right now. So please just let me stay with you. Do, 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 does that mean I, I'm responsible for the pregnancy? No, 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 no. Hey, Bossy, no. No, this is just for shelter now. Only shelter, just for a short time. Please, I don't have another place to go to, I beg of you. Mm. Because it's just between me and you, nobody will know. I don't even want my parents to know about it. The rumor is everywhere that you're not the daughter of your father. I beg your pardon, Clara. What does that mean? <laughs> don't even open your eyes as if you're hearing it for the first time. Mm. Yeah, Halele, leave. I'm warning you for the last time. Just leave. Do you think you can dismiss me? You cannot. Ah, ah. Why are you waging war against your own sister? Why? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Don't tell me that nonsense. See, if you are not here to talk reasonable things, just leave. Because I know anytime you call you, you always talk, cho 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 cho, poke nose. Talk what is your business and what Everybody. is not your business. They are saying that you're not the daughter of your father. Mm. See, if you were the daughter of your father, why would you be waging war against your own sister? At this mm. point, she needs you the most. Why? <laughs> Maybe I came from your father or your mother, or that your uncle that his leg is like this. Listen, Clara, I'm warning you for the very last time. Leave this place and don't ever try to come back. Do you hear that? Because if you do, I will show you the other side of me. Okay. <laughs> you I'm must treat your heart and mind you. your business. You come here to tell me nonsense. No, no. See her leg. <laughs> don't ever try to come to this place again. No. Ah, uh, see, if you come here, you regret me. Oh, you, you, you don't know me. You don't know me. Hey. I, I'm sorry over what I'm going to say. But it is the truth. I am not comfortable with this your visit. I, I cannot say why. Why you are not comfortable with my visit? I cannot say why. I am a credible chief in this land. It has never been quoted that I am evil anytime. Why are you not comfortable? To the best of my knowledge, for the past 10 years, you have not entered this compound. Naturally, I'm bothered that you are here to tell me we need to talk. You are right to say that I have not visited here for so many years. But you should know that as an Obuefi, I should not pay useless visits. I am here because I know you are close to my brother the king. I want us to talk like men. I'm listening. You see, I saw a trance where the traditions of this kingdom is being rewritten. All I need from you is your undiluted support. My own support? What do you mean by that? You see, I saw myself wearing the crown of this kingdom and every other person, including yourself, were bound down before me. I, Ichi Ama, to Fiakwa. That cannot be done. <laughs> Depends what you mean by Tufiakwa. I am telling you what I saw. What I know is that no matter what you saw, the, the tradition of our land cannot be rewritten. There is no way you can become king. Uh, but you know my brother is the king. My own brother is the king. Of course I know he's a king. His only son will succeed him when he dies. So you are useless. You are useless trans cannot change our tradition. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, you cannot say that what I saw is worthless. No, you don't know uh, uh, what the gods are planning to change things for better. Yes, I know. Our tradition accepts that my brother's son will succeed him when he dies. But who knows? Who knows the plans of the gods? They may be planning to change things to suit us. We need prosperity. We need progress here. The gods might be rearranging things for such actions. 
and it doesn't mean that the, the former person who or the person who is the on top now will surely remain there. The, the, the gods can change things. I heard him when he said that. <laughs> so I was thinking. What were you thinking? Yeah, I was thinking of maybe um, I could come along with you to London, you know, then I would enroll for a, a master's degree program while you go around for your interview. Okay, so when I'm done with my interview, what happens? You give up classes? <laughs> That's really funny because I wouldn't be attending those classes because I need them or because I want to go to school or because it's important to my life. No, I, I'll just be attending it because I just want to study and wait for you while you, you go around with your stuff. So you tell me, does that make sense? Anything for you, darling? Yes, come in. My prince. You sent for me? Yes, I sent for you. Have you checked the noise on the car? Is it all right? I hope it's nothing serious. I don't think so, Prince. Don't think so. No guesses. And make sure it's working properly, otherwise repair it. If it is not, then prepare it. I have somewhere going tomorrow morning. Okay, my Prince. What are your hands? No, somewhere. Somewhere else. Where? I have some going before I go for the airport. Nadia's left the house, Your Highness. Where has she gone to? No, I don't know. My father drove her out last night. He did what? He drove her out. Is he in? Can I speak with him? No, he left this morning too. My word. You are the sister, I believe. Yes, sir. Okay, now just think a little bit. Do you have any idea as to where she could have possibly gone to? No, no, Your Highness. I don't know. We are all very worried about it. My mother couldn't even sleep last night because of it. I don't know where Wadi is. I don't know. My prince, is there anything you think we should talk about? No. Well, yeah, I think there is. <laughs> okay, I'm all ears, your highness. It's, I've been, I've been thinking. About what, my prince? Your nosiness. Your inquisitiveness to get to know everything. Things that don't even concern you. It's not your business. That's what you want to find out about. Why is that so? I'm sorry, my prince. Did you get the servants to have my luggage on standby? I did, your highness. Good. Those are the things you're supposed to be anxious, struggling to know about. Thank you, Ernest. I ask you once again, where is my son? Your Majesty, I'm so sorry. But they set out so early in the morning. Oh, but do not give me that. Do not give me that. Or else I will reckon this as an act of gross incompetence on your part. He is supposed to be on his way to the airport by now. All of a sudden, he disappeared. Daddy, his PA should be held responsible. I overheard them talking about his disappearance today. Oh, Where are you coming from? Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Dad. 
He's asking you where you are coming from. Well, I just went for a little walk. I'm back now. All set for the airport. My luggage is being loaded in the car as we speak. I just came to let you know that I'm about to depart. Induka will drop me off at the local airport. And from there I will connect to Abuja. My flight is for 10 o'clock. I'm supposed to go with you to the airport. You could, but as you can see, I'm running late. I'm ready. Ada, take care. Truth is that I can no longer stand the emotional burden and the guilt in me for denying that innocent girl. Hence, I'm embarking on this trip. There is no job and neither there is any job interview anywhere. I just had it up to the jaw and I realized that the best way to regain my sanity is just to quit. I am not coming back or even thinking of coming back anytime soon until I can finally decipher the best ways to deal with these issues as it appeals to my personal ethics and morality. I would like you to let mom read through this as well and say hi to Ada. When did he give this to you? Your Majesty, upon alighting from the car at the airport. You are not just coming back from the airport, are you? No, I'm Her Majesty. It's just that he asked me not to deliver it until night's fall. You do not have such right. You do not. I'm so sorry, Her Majesty. It's just that I'm following his. Now, leave. Leave! Is there anyone you know that can help us get into him? I want you to tell me the truth. Are you sure you hear them properly? I'm not joking. He came to my house to say he may be the next king and needs my support. Does it mean Obwefi want to kill his brother and impose himself the king. I don't think so. He wasn't talking violently. And I must tell you that he has no intention to impose himself on anyone. How else do you think that Obwefi will become a king in this land? While the prince is there, the father is still so strong. Obwefi is coming from a different direction. He said the gods are planning to make him the king. He and he only needs our support. I want you to do me a favor and let it be a secret between you and me. If the gods let her make him a king, we will support him. But for now, let's forget about the matter. If I tell you I know what we're talking about, then I lie. Hmm. Hmm. Helen, my sister Wad is not willing to solve her problem once and for all. And this is, this is making me very crazy and bitter. How do you want her to solve the problem? By marrying an imbecile? Is it not better? Tell me, okay, Oma, than delivering the child in our compound. Why would she be pregnant at the first place? Why would she? <laughs> now I know what Kara is talking about. It's true. Wait. Eh, okay. Clara told you things, eh? 
Clara told you things and your hair telling me it's true. Okay, what did she say? I'm sorry. You're sick. Eh? And I have every reason to believe her. Believe her. Clara told you that I'm sick. Yes. And your hair standing in front of me telling me you believe her. Why would I believe her? Why wouldn't I believe her? You're really sick because I didn't expect you to say a thing like this. Is it because you've not told you that you are aborted? How many times have you done an abortion? Eh? Is it because you've not said it? How many times have you done it? Hang up. Yes. How many abortions have you done? Helen. Please don't call me. You're very, very wicked girl. Very wicked friend. Since you could wish your sister a future with an imbecile. Then you're a very, very wicked friend. You could wish me death as a friend. I'm so sorry, I can't have a friend like you. Very, very bad girl. Helen, please. Ah, please leave me alone. Helen! And don't ever come to see me because I, I don't I will not even take it as Hel To be sincere with you, I heard the other grand plan and I think it is proper. Good. I'm so glad that a man of your caliber, Benjamin, is taking towards the direction. I mean, that's the way forward. Yes, I'm impressed. I'm not the only one who desires this change. Many young men in this village think that the change is even long overdue. Now tell me, what's stopping from going to Nana and telling that his father's tenure is over? I mean, that people do not appreciate their ruling anymore. What stops me? I think that will be too confrontational. The way you're going about it is still the best. Leave him, let him be going like a sheep gone out of gas. Before he knows what's happening, the carpet will be pulled off his foot. My brother, I'm impressed. I used to think um, Larry was the man, but you are the man. Don't worry. By the time this battle is over, I'll make your life comfortable. Trust me. I trust you. God bless you. Hmm. Wandi, please make sure nothing goes wrong. Please. I'm begging you. Nothing is going wrong. I'm fine. I've told you that. Can you say you're fine when your labor has refused to come? Eh? You said the doctor gave you fifth, and today is eleventh. Today is tenth now. Uh, tenth or eleventh? What's the difference? Huh? How, how how does that make anything feel good? Uh, uh, have you heard anything from my parents? Are they all right? They are fine. Yeah, everything is all right. You're sure? They are all fine. Thank you. Thank you, Sifot. I don't think I want to eat now. Just keep it from me. I'll probably just take a shower a lot later. Uh -huh. Hey, that reminds me. I I met Obi there at the market, and she was asking me if there was somebody else in the house. What happened? To she did. Yes, she did. Oh, see, it's not like anything happened though. It was hot in the house. I just wanted to take a cold shower outside, and then I I stepped out and I heard her footsteps. So I just froze. You know, I heard her asking who that was, but I didn't say anything. So, the next thing she left. So, what did she say? Oh, nothing. Well, I told her there was nobody else in the house. All right, let, let me take this for you. <coughs> Look at what is it? What is, are, you, are you telling me that you are emotionally attached to the prince? That you can become so bothered and unnecessarily disturbed just because he traveled back to Europe? Felicia, you won't understand. You won't understand, Felicia. Nduka. What, what, can you just, what, what's the problem? What, what is it? Just tell me, okay? What, what, what's wrong? Felicia, I have a message that will shake the foundation of this palace and I am preparing my mind for it. I mean, I am preparing my mind for it, Felicia. What kind of message is it, please? Eh? What? Does it have anything to do with our lives? Eh? What, what kind of message? Does it have anything to do with our lives? What, 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 what kind of message? Felicia, you know what? You have no life. I want you to go back to your room. 
Just go back to your room and leave me. I can handle it. I mean, I can handle it. Just leave me. Go back to your room. I can handle it. You are beginning to sound like a woman who thrives in gossip, and I, I am not impressed. Are you telling me that you actually brought me here to gossip with me or what? Oh, God, Larry, this is not gossip at all. I am telling you what I saw what with my see? eyes. What did you see? Oh, Sita is harboring a woman in his house, and you need to go in there and find out who she is. I no. Are you listening to yourself? Are you just listening to yourself? No. Are you telling me that all the women we have in this kingdom cannot mind their businesses? No, is that what they're telling me? Larry, you are sounding as if you don't know the implications of harboring a woman in this kingdom. There is no implication on anything. No implication. No implication. Ah. What is your business? What is your business that Osita is keeping a woman or even women in his house? No, tell me. Do you want him to keep men in his house? Is that what I'm saying? We are talking of an unmarried man here. Whatever he is doing with that woman I saw is immoral. And it can bring the kingdom down. Ah, this woman. Shut up. What? Huh? Immoral what? He's not talking about immorality. Oh, God. Listen to me. That woman, that girl, that you saw in Ustar's house cannot bring the kingdom down. Because as we are talking now, the kingdom is down already. It's down, down on the floor. Kingdom? Down on the floor. Are you sure you are still the same Larry I used to trust? <laughs> I am not even bothered if you don't trust me anymore. Don't look at me like that. I'm not even bothered. I still don't trust me anymore. We are in the new millennium. You don't even know that one. And in this millennium now, there are some goals that they set in the millennium that they call the Millennium Development Goals. And one of the goals is that everything must change. And everything is changing except you. Are you insulting me or what? Yeah, well, how, how, how can I insult you? I'm not insulting you now. You're talking immoral, immoral. And I don't know this guy anymore that you're talking about. I don't know. Listen, if God will open your eyes around this environment that we are now, this environment here, you know, these closed doors and windows you see around here, and you see the level of immorality that is going on in all these closed doors now, this is it now, you will know that what Osita is doing with that girl in his house is nothing. Listen to me, Obidia Melissel. Even as we are here now, somebody like me, mm. don't put me anywhere, I'm telling you. Mm. Even the throne itself, I can even suspect the immorality there on the throne itself. That's the why throne. the kingdom is down. They have your white man. You don't know. White man prince. And two of them are black. Black queen, black king. White man prince. Immoral. Like. just come here to town. Abomma. Man. Did you find her? Abomma. Try to help yourself. Try to help yourself and stop thinking about Wadima for now. You sent my daughter away. My. My find Wadima for me. My daughter. I find my daughter for me. Ma, please. Please. Please stop. Ma. Am I not trying? Eh? Am I not doing my best? 
you want to leave me, Ma, please? Ma, please? Want to leave to me, please? Tasi. Tasi, my daughter. Tasi, you're trying. Tasi, the battle has been lost. Aboma, will you stop saying rubbish into people's ears? I'm sorry. Sorry. No. What the ma? Nah, you killed the one the ma for me. You sent her back. Nah, find the one the ma for me. Your daughter sent herself away. I did not prevent her out of marriage. The laws of the land have to be obeyed. I don't want to incur the wrath of the gods because of a wayward daughter. She killed herself. She sent herself away by refusing to tell us who the baby's father was. Hey, father, father, please come back. Now let me tell you something. They say that cowards die many times before their deaths. But villains, they don't even get days of death. But once, what do you mean by that? Meaning that you should stand up and fight for your rights. Fight as if your life depends on it. And this is what I'm doing. This is what I am doing. I am using instrument of diplomacy. Look, Benson, we will not do this thing as if we are fighting people outside us. This is a family issue. Now, if you ask me, your brother and his son, they are outsiders. Benson! You say what? What do you mean by this? Yes! But what does I see it? I've not even benefited anything from the throne. You see, your brother does not even know how to make money. Yes! Look, all I need you to do is go to the elders, make promises. Even make promises that are not possible. The end will justify the means. Yes, this is an act of deceiving the people. Hmm. No, 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 no. Who are you deceiving? These people are nobody. They are nothing. Papa, I am telling and teaching you what politicians do to win elections. Papa, you go there. Make promises. Make promises and promises and promises. Promises in the heaven and the earth. Okay? When you assume throne, you simply tell them that all these promises, they are on part of I. Papa, because you know where you are born. You will say some growing now. Papa, maybe you assume the throne so that I, Pastor, can become the king. And if I become the king, if I be saying no man, I'll stop acting like one, one laid back local champion chief. You will say some brain. It cannot be like this. You will say some brain. What exactly are we doing? Even if you forget everything, do not forget what I told you about this room. The manifestation is coming closer and closer. Don't tell me you are still thinking about the throne. When you appear before the king as a member of council tomorrow, eh? bear this in mind. There's a new dawn and I want you to be part of this new dawn. I have already discussed with some elders and uh, we shared the same view that you will never be a king in this land. Are you not getting my point? <laughs> the hunter that enters the bush with his gun and his machete does not know the particular animal he will kill. But he knows that something must happen in the bush. How do you mean? I, I want you to have the determination of the hunter. You see it? I want you to have the determination of that hunter who does not know the particular animal is going to kill, but he knows that something is going to happen. When it starts happening, wherever you see me stand, or wherever you see me standing, come and stand there and be part of this new history, this kingdom. Yeah. You have to see a doctor then. I hear the new doctor has taken over the health center here. Especially the pain down the, the, the prostrate. That prostrate problem has been taken care of. Why do you keep referring to it? 
I hear prostate cancers can never be treated. Nah. Prostate cancers of the first stage can always be treated with surgical operation. And that is what happened in my own case. Please, let me go and see my chiefs. It's all right. Yes. Just manage it. I will. No, I'm okay. I'm I am not going to ask you why you are here, because I know. But the truth is that I am not ready to discuss it. Why do you conclude too fast? You are Nietzsche and you should not conclude like that. What do you want? Why are you clamoring to be king? Why your brother is still on the throne? You made a mistake to say that I'm clamoring. I am not clamoring. The gods of the land are the ones planning to make me king. All I need from you is support. Look, there is only one thing. Why I have not discussed this madness with the king. And it's because I know it can bring hatred in your family. And I wouldn't want it to happen. But I tell you, Obuefi, if you continue in the path you are trading, I might damn the consequence and open up to the Igwe. <laughs> Men who are bestowed with leadership qualities from birth are not afraid of men who are already going very close to their graves. And what does that mean? My brother has ruled this kingdom for 29 years. Can you show me even a thing you gained as a lawyer elder? You see, it can't even attract uh, the state and federal government interest. You see, because it lacks the capacity to do that. Everything will change when I become the king. I will invite the United Nations into this very kingdom and people like you will begin to see money every month. I mean, real money. There is money in kingship. And I want to prove it. Oh, yes. Everywhere you go, people are hungry here and there. I want to change that situation. Your Majesty, I'm here because I have the result of your liver biopsy. And I was going through your folder. I realized that you suffered cancer in the past, about two years back. Yes, I had a prostate cancer some two years ago. But it was treated by a doctor from your clinic, your former colleague. Actually, I underwent you know, surgical excision and uh, became just fine. Mm, I see. Does that have anything to do with his present condition of health? It has, Your Majesty. It has something to do with it. You see, the cancer that attacked you, that affected your prostate two years ago, has metastasized into your liver with tenacity. What? Sadly, yes. And I also discovered that you took a dosage of folic acid in the past. I mean in June. Yes, that was when I had a slight fever. Your Majesty, people with your health conditions are always advised to stick to one medical center, possibly one doctor. Yes, what happened was that I traveled to Onesia. Uh, when I had the uh, attack of fever. So I went to a health facility where they prescribed drugs for me. It was uh, when I came back that the doctor from your clinic said that as a cancer patient, I shouldn't be taking too much of folic acid. Taking too much? Your Majesty shouldn't touch it at all because it's not meant for you. Good. So, is it going to be another surgery or something? I doubt if surgery is the case. But don't worry, be happy. Because I'm on top of the situation. Yeah. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Um, how about your son? Um, he is not... Um... What about my son? Is there anything wrong? No, there's nothing wrong. Only I heard that he's a golfer. 
and I'm a player. And I'm just thinking maybe we can have a game or two. And moreover, since I started visitation here, I haven't been able to meet him. Uh, no, you will see him one of these days. Thank you, Your Majesty. And ma, you take care of him. Mm -hmm. I'll see you around. Thank you. No. Thank you very much. So tell me, girl, what are you saying? Seriously, Molly. Do you want me to tell you the truth? Yeah? I don't like those guys. Onyeka, I'm not talking about those guys. I'm talking about Benson, my own guy. Okay? He's asked us to come over and I don't see anything wrong in that. All you need to do is just keep me company. I know you're scared. But Larry's not going to be there. I mean, ben Benson assured me of that. See, Larry is not only my problem. Even your so-called Benson, he puts me off. What? My guy puts you off? Yeah. Benson. Wait, are you telling me they are your... Are you my boyfriend? What? Oh! Please, give me some credit, girlfriend, okay? What will I be doing with your guy? See, Benson is a braggart. And guess what? I don't fancy braggarts. Then just do me this favor, okay? Just go with me and keep me company. I'm not asking you to, you know? Anyway, I know Benson is a braggart. But he's not stingy with money. And tell me, isn't that what we all value, mostly in men? Speak for yourself, girl. You know what I value in men? Tell me. It's not just money. You know, I value courage and charisma. Tell me something, girlfriend. Yeah. Charisma. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine my two kids now. Eh? Two cats. Because look at me. Oh, come on. <laughs> what is left of me? What the man? God is left in you. Wipe your tears. Huh? Stop crying. I hope you have heard her. Hmm? You know you have not been feeling very well. And then consider this little child you have here. Don't cry like this. <laughs> from where will I take so less from? From where will I find so less? Just look at me. My mother is good, oh God! <laughs> now you dead, please help us talk to her now. Please. Don't involve me. Don't involve me at all. Let her cry. Crying does not kill. Otherwise, her little sister here would have been dead and buried by now. Because she started crying even before their mother died. Let her cry. It's all her fault. It's all her fault Mama died. That's it. Don't you ever try to call my name again. Do you hear that? If you didn't go and get pregnant of this bastard, Mama wouldn't have died thinking I'm worrying about you. Just pray. Pray so that my spirit will ever forgive you. The issue right now is that the cancer is eating deeply into your father's liver. And to be honest with you, the situation is terminal. Terminal? Wait, doctor. So you're saying he's definitely going to die? So sad is the truth. So from what you're saying, give and take, 
How long do you think he's going to live for? I wouldn't know. But all I can tell you is that your father showed a rare instinct of resilience. And that's what kept him alive up till this moment. I'm sorry, you have to take it easy. I'll get back to my office, all right? Mamba, your father is about to leave me. Mamba, Mamba, Loli, where this is what I don't want to hear. Huh? No, I think all you do now is to focus on you, where you not this crying. Look, where is there anything we'll do for you? Yes. I need privacy with my family. Okay. Princess, please excuse us. What do we here? I want my wife, my son. Ah. Look, I appreciate all your sacrifices and support, my brother. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's obvious that I will die in a few days' time. <laughs> Nothing will happen to you. Yeah, and consequently, my kingship will have to change hands. Change hands? Why? Well, you do not have a son to go with you to Iyaba Hills. Unless something urgent is done. But dad, I'm not married. When I get married, I'll get a son. Oh, my son. The kingship of Blue Kingdom cannot be vacant for more than three market weeks. Dad, so I'm not going to succeed you? What, 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 what about, what about the girl's child? I heard, I heard that. That's impossible. We agreed to block her hands on everything that concerns that girl and her baby. And it stands. Listen to me, Chima. This is the kind of situation that made our people to say that when you see something bigger than the farm, the ban is sold. Abu Efi told me yesterday that that girl had a baby boy. Hence, I decree that she must be sought for. Apologized to the reconciled with, and that son of ours brought back as a apparent for his coronation. What about to Ada? What about Ada? Your Majesty, have you forgotten Ada? No, Chimwe. Your Majesty. Chimwe. When something bigger and the farm surfaces. The barn is sold to meet ends. Uh, yes. Oh. Are you all right? I'm dead. Are you okay? Uh, no, just... Are you okay? I'm just coming. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Son. You are about to take your turn in our family dynasty. Make hay while the sun shines. Stand for the truth at all times, no matter the circumstances. And you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Thank you. Now help me up. Yes. Okay. Oh. Uh. Dad. 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 Nana. What is that? What happened? Dad. Eh? Nana. He wanted to sit up. What happened? I wanted to sit him up. Dad. Dad. Hey. Oh my God. 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 Hey, my brother, what is this now? Don't do this to us, please, please. 
You see, girls, know what? Just drink anything you want, okay? I am the common prince, and I'm equal to the tax. Yes. Um, there's this rumor in town that your father is scheming to become the next king. So, is that in any way connected with the common prince you just called yourself? You see, it is established that my father is the next king. And I don't understand what you mean by scheming. The elders found out that the dying king is incompetent. So, they are begging my father to be the next king. So, it's got to do with scheming or whatever. We can't scheme. We don't scheme. Wait, wait, wait. Are you trying to tell us that the elders are behind this call you're presenting as noble? Hey, what is really going on here? I said, I, why are you people talking like technical people? The other one says scheming. The other one saying noble. See, I brought us here to be happy. Have fun, drink, spend my money. Okay? Or don't you guys want to be happy? We want to be happy. We are happy. That's better. I mean, let's be happy. I mean, let's have fun, drink, and enjoy ourselves and talk less of, of, of being technical. Okay? Yeah, but Prince Nana is supposed to be the next king. The elders found out that Nana will be as tall as his father. And they're tired of dollars. That's why. My father is going to become the king because that's the advantage he has over every other person. Really? I am the common prince. The next prince. The prince. I like that name. Oh, Call me that again. Next prince. <laughs> that's whom I am. So let's enjoy ourselves. I mean, let's let's have fun, drink, money to be spent. Hey! Equal men of cack. Hey! 
Oburu land. Hey. 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 You got me no cash. Hey. Talk, Nana, put him to sleep. Are you sure he won't scream in just a minute? <laughs> I made sure this time. Okay. Hey, so tell me, you. What killed the king all of a sudden? I don't know, but I heard it's cancer. Cancer? Yes. And now that his wicked brother will take over the reign. Uh, Wifey. You can imagine. What about the king's son, um, Nana? It's the custom now. They said he cannot succeed his father because he has no son yet. Yeah, poor him. And they should give him some more time now. Mm, they gave him a maximum of four native weeks. Hey, unless he has a woman who's pregnant for him already. <laughs> Which woman gives birth in 14 days? But, uh, Mwadi, there's this, I don't know, Shao. What? Remember, ma. Remember what? That it was uh, the prince who got you pregnant. So what? So I should hand over my child to him so he can reclaim his throne? If you ask me, I will say you should just put everything behind you and just do it for him. Put my dead mother behind me? Or oh, all the traumas? All the rejection by my family? Or oh, all the shames behind me? Udoka, please do not add insult to a cancerous injury. Wadi, I'm sorry. It's not what you think. Wadi, I'm sorry. Well, you all are welcome to my house. But you all know that even if I have anything to say, it will just be very little. Because the whole thing revolves around Madema, my daughter. He who wears the shoe knows where the bitch is. But I must be bold enough to condemn what is condemnable. Mazuba, somebody like you should not be in this meeting in the first place because you knew what happened and you never told them. Oh, let me say something here. This is my case. I want to ask a question. I want somebody here to tell me if my son had not become inevitable to the prince's ascension to the throne, would anyone here ever honestly advocate for his reclamation? Would anyone ever think him son enough for the prince? My daughter, please, may your anger calm down. 
Can my anger ever come? Can it? Let's assume my anger comes. What about my heartbroken mother whose body lies in the grave? If it were you, Uche, who was grieved and died because of this heartless denial, would you ever, seriously, truthfully, would you ever stop raging? One day. Please. Please. I don't have the heart. Or the confidence. To ask for forgiveness. But I'm here today. I know from the way my mother spoke. It might seem as if we came here only because of the child. But when I set out today to come here, it's because I wanted to achieve at least one of two things. Yes, to ask for the child, but also to ask for your forgiveness. To admit my guilt that I've done you wrong and that I'm sorry to ask you to forgive me because I need that liberation one day can you please forgive me no you know I I used to think I could My sister here and her son, the prince, have done more than they even should to come here and seek for reconciliation. Please, consider it. Let your son repossess his royal origin. Point of correction, Michi. My son's father is nobody from the Odimpa's royal family. The world is wicked, full of heartbreak. Trust is no more in our society. Send for me, your highness. <laughs> your highness? Yes, your highness. <coughs> Don't call me by that. Hmm? Save that title for Odinaka. Yes, give it to him. I don't want it. <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> um, I want to know something. What can you tell me about my family dynasty? How much do you know? What do you know? Well, my prince, I don't know much. I didn't say what don't you know. I want to know what you know. <laughs> well, I just know that your lineage is a royal lineage. And that kingship has never changed hand in your family history. Uh-huh. Ah, do you believe in history? Yes, I do. Ah, I don't. I don't believe in history. <laughs> ah. 
I am very disappointed with myself right now. Very disappointed. Huh? Now, how am I supposed to look at my children's faces and say, You are supposed to be again? <laughs> Can I tell my children that? <laughs> How can I? What happened? Oh, Daddy messed up. He messed up. <laughs> because of my own astute cowardice. That's what happened. Huh? Daddy messed up. Now you cannot be a kid. What? 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 What, what happened? Oh, okay. Uh, Daddy could not have you on time before his father's death. That's what happened. But I'm beginning to think at what age? At what age? Huh? 33? How ridiculous is that? How ridiculous is that? Huh? Okay, I see. Maybe there's another reason why I could not square up to them. Yeah. They want daddy to do certain things and daddy cannot say, no, I won't do it. Ah, <laughs> there's another reason. Is it that I was chasing my degree in London, in the UK? That's why. Bachelor in Economics, huh? MSC, Comparative and analytical economics. <laughs> Can you say that? Say it, say it. Mm -hmm. Comparative and analytical economics. MA in conflict resolution. And now there is a conflict. There is a conflict. And I can't even solve. Me, Prince, former Prince, yes, former Prince, Nana Ojinaka, can't solve. My Prince, what's going down? Can't solve. What's going down? A conflict of, of self-esteem. Self-esteem. Please just calm down. I can't solve it. My Prince, please, please just calm down. You want me to calm down? Yes, please. I'll calm down. I'll calm down. I'll calm down. Easy, easy. You want me to calm down? You want me to calm down? Easy, easy. You want me to calm down? Huh? Easy. Just take it easy. Do you know what is happening here? Do you have an idea? My generation is about to go down the drain. No, please don't and take you it say, hard. Calm down. Don't take it hard on yourself, please. Huh? My forefathers yes. are going to blame me! Me! Let's calm down. Not you, me. And my children's children. Children's 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 children. Who will be disappointed in me? Who's that? You must understand that all this are nobody's fault. Do you know? Irrespective of how things are turning out, it's do just okay. You know, do you know that you are the last person that I want to see? What? Hmm? Just leave me alone, okay? Come on, my sweetheart. Leave me alone. I want you to just leave my life. Leave it. Leave me alone! Just leave me alone. Go. Just go. Leave. Hey, that's 
Go. No, no, Your Majesty. Don't take him like that. You can see he's drunk. Oh, I'm drunk. You two get out. Get out. Go. Leave me alone. Just hanging out with some guys in Bendel. And I was telling them that my village is more developed uh, than theirs. And they were arguing. Mm -hmm. Can you be that? So, must you tell them that? I mean, what's so special about this village of yours? Chai! Chai! Me, Naroje! Cool down. Now, let me tell you something, right? Man, take a look. Take a look at what we have on this table. I mean, this is red label. Red label! I mean, we drink red label when we are thirsty. But in Bendel, when they are thirsty, they drink stream water. <laughs> ah, wait, 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 wait. You don't have to talk. Look at what we're having here. Look at the environment. It's so cozy. Is that not? No, no, no. Turn around, turn around. Take a look at the bar. This bar is filled with choice drinks. Ranging from juicy drinks that will justify your life. Then alcoholic drinks, then to to purified water. This water is purified. You are purified that if you drink it, all the malaria in your body will be cured. Hey. This is what I'm talking about. See, when people argue with me, I laugh, I laugh, I laugh because they do not know. Don't you understand? It's the truth that will set them free. No, I don't know the part of Bende that you know, okay? But I can assure you this: that this bar, this joint, is not even up to the lowest bar that we have in our place. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you telling us? Are you telling him that two of you, you have been going to all these bars in Bende, you have been you know, exploring all these bars what? in Bende, two of you? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know what your friend is trying to say. Larry, 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 Larry. Oh, what kind of question are you asking? Oh, you don't know, guess. You see, let me, let me, you, see, you don't know Larry. You see, Larry is a, is a fool. In capital letter. If you can say that is a, is, is a rubbish man. No, 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 no. No, rubbish no, no, no. Why, why would you say that I am talking rubbish? Why would you call me a fool? Why? Because, because you are a fool. No, you, you are mind. the person that told me that in four days' time we are going to go to Bende to go and explore Bende. And suddenly and luckily for us, we are seeing people who are presenting themselves as experts in exploration. And I'm just trying to find out whether two of them can become explorers. They will take us around when we go to bed and let us explore. Then you would have asked me. And I would have told you what you needed to know. You see, you cannot compare this place. Check this place out. You cannot compare it with Bende. You know, we are far ahead in terms of outing and luxury. Girl, am I not right? So, <laughs> Two of you, two of you, two of you, of you. Do you... Do you get angry easily? Oh! Larry again, you have come again! You won't stand to cure the first sickness that you caused! You have brought another sickness! You brought gonorrhea, now you are bringing AIDS! We should have been curing! Larry, was those three rubbish things? Are you, are you stupid? Yes, can we take to guess a uh, so, uh, novice? Can I take my friend out? To a side. Whatever. Something is something is cooking. Okay, um hey, girls, if has, even if it is beginning to be boiling. Girls, um just 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 Hmm? Let me just see the hell the rubbish is about to tell me. And I, I promise you, I'm not going to spend more than a split second, okay? Right. Just, just, just one more time. Enjoy yourself, whatever you want. Oh my What's gosh, new? I don't like that guy. Me too, Maury. Seriously, I don't like oh, it. That guy has a problem. A psycho problem. Yeah, and I'm not always comfortable with such guys. Can you imagine? Oh my god. Look, guy. Larry, listen. I don't understand this is your time out. I mean, what is it that you want to discuss with me that I cannot wait? This one cannot wait. It cannot wait. I call you out because it is very urgent. I don't like making any mistake I know I can avoid. 
open your mouth and tell me what is the exact plan you have for that girl sitting here. Oh, here. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Me, Larry, you are full of shit. All your life is all shit up. Yes. No, no, no. How many times have I told you, time with that number that I, I just don't like this girl. I love this girl. And the kind of friendship, the way we are going about it, it may actually lead to marriage. That, that is what I don't want to hear. Listen to me, boy. Cancel whatever marriage plan you have for that girl sitting inside that place. Because she is not a wife material. Okay. Larry, why are you like this? How could you say a thing like this? You hardly know these girls. I mean, you just met these girls a couple of hours ago. And right now you are judging them. How could you open your sticky mouth to say that this girl is not a marriage material? Did you hear what you say? They say that they are experts in outing and logs. Oh, don't give me that shit. Listen to me, boy. Listen, boy. Those girls inside that place, they know every single hotel room in the village. I can tell you that. All the men of their village in Bende, they lined up like this. And they reduced those girls to zero. Zero like this. Those girls are zero. Forget everything. Forget that marriage plan with that girl. If you marry that girl, boy, you are going to be so surprised with what you are going to see inside that package when you open it. Shut up, Larry, shut up. Shut up, shut up. Shut up. Now listen, you just, why are you just getting these girls for nothing? Why? Listen to me, listen to me. I've only, I've just told you what I want to tell you as a friend. I don't need your smelling advice. See those girls, I just, they are cross. You want to crucify yourself in that cross, you go ahead and crucify yourself Let me name in the cross. It's none of your business. Yes, I want to tell you concerning that rubbish you came to my house to tell me the other time about your father. And yourself hijacking over and be, being the king is not going to work. It cannot even work. I have discussed with the youths. I'm not talking about all these my my youths you are parading all over. I'm telling you the original youths we have in this land. They said your father cannot be king. And who do you think you are to ever change what the youths have decided? Oh, shut up. Ransay. Ransay. Eat shit. Now listen, Larry. I don't blame you. I don't blame you now. It's all my fault. This drink you are drinking, my money. But I As a matter of fact, I can't that you are wearing. I got for you when I came back from him. Shut up. Now listen, when I talk, you don't talk. I don't blame you. I have the strong conviction. In fact, I am convinced beyond reasonable doubt that all of a sudden, you are beginning to grow cold. It is understandable. No, the plan is cold. I understand it. Now listen, I am advising you right now to step out, step out concerning my plans. I will go ahead and seal it up and I promise you something. You will regret it. Baga, idiot. Now I will this by you. I'm a boo here. It's not for these girls. It's not for these girls. Get away. But don't worry. You crucify yourself in the cross. Yeah. Easy. In fact, I'm coming to you. Finish your up, man. I don't understand you at all. I mean, you're shouting and I'm not getting you. Did you shut up? I've not shouted and you see I'm shouting. I have the right to shout. Now listen. I want you to send this message to your sister. At the same time, deliver it to your father. That idiot. That boy in your custody is useless. I know. Shut up! You know what? You know to rubbish. You know rubbish. What audacity? You have the F1 tree to talk when I'm talking. I don't blame you. Now listen. That boy must remain in your custody. If by any chance that boy is released to Mama and by chance has undue advantage over my father, I swear to God Almighty. I will kill your father slowly. Wait. I will send your father to his early grave. Wait, wait, Benson. Are you going to attack my father because of that useless? I mean, that thing that I never liked. What's my business with your your hatred and your likeness? You don't want one man here. So you think I'm I'm concerned about you? I am concerned about the throne. Now, this girl. 
take this message to your father so he can do what he has to do for my father to be on that throne. Else, slowly by slowly by slowly, I will kill your father. <coughs> um, Nana, my nephew, the new chair of Obulu Kingdom summoned you and I here to communicate their latest decision. It is not your duty to address him, Odechi. Oh no, who is here? And this is his house. Does it matter who addresses him? Shouldn't you be minding the way you talk to me, bearing in mind the latest development in the kinship status? What do you mean, Obuefi? Are you going to start by cowering or intimidating us? Oh, yes. I will start, in my, my friend. In short, I will start, um, in fact, I'll start ordering by ordering you to shut up and sit down. Sit down! Me? Uh, 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 that is okay. Both of you sit down. I said sit down. I am the second in command in this kingdom. As you know who of Ubulu Kingdom. And for that reason, I stand on the authority of the Igwe. And any of you, when I say sit down, you sit down. Well, as for now, I, I will take your order. Uh, I will take your order. Uh, uh, my son. For now, oh no, for now. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Shall we run away because of you? Huh? I will do that best. First of all, I have to announce your expulsion from the royal uh, cabinet. Anyway, I gladly accept that. But if you could you allow us to continue our discussion around or peacefully? Huh? Oh no, speak. Uh, my son, uh, you see, the kingship of Ubulu Kingdom is not changing hands from your father's household to that of your uncles because you don't have a son of your own for now. And you know, as our tradition demands, within 16 days, your father is barrier supposed to take place within 16 days and for that reason we have to change the kingship from his household is it not so good evening young lady who are you my name is Mwadi, daughter of Udemba of Igweli King former servant of the palace hey! Who allowed the grasshopper in the meeting of animals? Udechi, Chelo, wait, let us hear what the girl has to say. Ndeche, please, let me say something, as what I have to say is very important to the decision you all are about to make right now. Ta! What you are looking? Shut up your mouth! Um, let us speak. No. No! In my capacity as the next king of Obulu kingdom, in principle and character, young lady, I order you to speak no more. You will do no such thing as you haven't got such powers. Hey? Prince Nana here is the Ezeanoche of this community, and he alone can act as the Igwe of this community in principle and in character. My daughter, you would have been right if the prince had a son to ascend the hills. Oh, yes, he has a son. I have a son. This is business. Uh, my son, are you aware of this child? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was about to tell all of you but my uncle will not let me speak. Liar! You're a liar! How dare you? How dare you, uncle, speak to the king apparent of a public kingdom? You are a cheat. Is uncle. When is your quo? Without due respect. Sit down. Hmm? Sit down. Okay. Sit down!
Chai. After all my efforts, after all the struggle, the hustle, I lost everything. My dear girl, you have to wipe off all those tears on her eyes. I don't want you to be looking dejected. Dejection is not for you because you're a pretty, wonderful girl. Also, the eccentricities of her. Uh, Nana, the prince, never you mind. I am quite understand what he's doing. But in fairness to him, he has to do what he did. So, Daddy, are you trying to say that you're in support of him calling off the wedding? Not at all. Oh, no. Over. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. You're quite a pretty girl. Nobody can throw you about. All I'm saying is that he has the right not to concede his throne to his uncle. That's all it's all, all about. Well, I didn't also expect him to call off our wedding. You know, my, my dear girl, there are so many sides to a coin. Your side and Obina, uh, Nana's side. All I'm saying is that there are great things stored up for you in the future. All you have to do is to exercise some patience. And besides, you have not known that I'm organizing a very big swell party for you. Party where you invite all and sundry, the big men, the VIPs, everybody in the town, all for a party. And there and there you can express yourself, you can laugh and laugh as you like. But that's what I want to tell you. That after a week of that party, many hands will be rushing to take your own hand in marriage. So take it easy. You're a pretty girl. You're a pretty girl that is 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 very essential in every home. Don't be don't be crying. Thank you very much, Daddy. I never knew you were so sweet and kind with your words. Oh, I could remember those days when we were at school. And we used to join the literary and debating society and uh, we always make big words sound little and little ones sound big. And anyway, never mind, that's not the issue. The issue I take now is that I want you to be absolutely happy. Radiate that happiness, that radiate that beauty. It's very essential. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Shifuku. Oh no. Come inside. Uh, my prince. Come inside. Sit down. By the powers conferred on me as the Onowu of Ubulu Kingdom, 
I hereby crown you as the Igwe of Ubulu Kingdom. Igwe! Uh, Igwe, you can step out now. What's this man who don't you come in here? Da! Josh, what are you doing here? I am supposed to be there. Don't do what? I am still a member of the royal family. I am supposed you to be there. You are not supposed to be here. You see, will you two charlatans remove this your hand? It's okay. Da! It's okay. Allow him in. Have you chosen any tattoo name for yourself? Yes, I have. What is it? Ojilin Naka. Okay, boy. Ojilin Naka, the second of Obolo Kingdom. Yes. yes. Ojilin Naka, the second of Obolo Kingdom. Igwe! Igwe! Everybody shout Igwe! Igwe! Trust. 